Next, producer Carrie Savage Zimmerman takes us to Valparaiso to drop in on a guy who's taking the late night TV talk show in a whole new direction. Okay, go ahead and watch the piece. In the meantime, this story has given me an idea. Hmm. You probably have at least heard the name, if not the story, of Michael Essany. A 15-year-old kid from Valparaiso, Indiana, who started his own late-night talk show in his parents' living room. When I heard Regis Philbin reading the first ever comedic piece I had written, I just knew my first laugh from a national audience could not possibly be my last. From Valparaiso, Indiana, Michael Asani uh, decided to send us his top ten list. Why Regis and Kathy Lee still get along after ten years. Now remember, the kid's, the kid's twelve years old. <laughs> Number six, they don't have to fight about who gets to keep the Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> Just a minute, kid, you're getting on my... <laughs> now that's funny. But I decided at that moment, the next time I got those laughs, I didn't want to be the comedy writer, I wanted to be the comedy performer. At age 20, Michael captures the spirit of America with his drive and determination as a national cable network plucks his access show from local curiosity and places him squarely in the national spotlight. Let him get the laughs now while this is still his. Please, come on. <laughs> He's the talk of his campus. I haven't had any classes with him, but I see him all the time, and we're all like, hey, Mike Essany, and he's like, hey, everybody. The talk of his hometown. If you look at the guys that are on now, the Lenos and the Lettermans, he's a lot younger than they are, so, uh, you know, they'll, they'll be retiring someday, and I think he'll be waiting in the wings to, to go after him. And the talk of celebrities who have found their way to Michael's guest love seat. Where do you think he gets all that energy from? I don't know. You clearly don't need the sugar or caffeine. So. I do not. <laughs> you got a great kid here. Perhaps the essence of Essany can best be expressed in Michael's own words. Tom Brokaw is one of my idols in broadcasting. He had a political science major. Uh, history happens to be my minor. So understanding the world where we've been often helps you see where we're going. And uh, education is very important to me. So I think the uh, poli-sci degree, the pursuit of the degree is, is helping me out a lot. I've heard so much about the university. I mean, its, it's academic uh, programs are, are world-renowned. Students from 40 countries attend Valparaiso University. But I also realize at the same time that college is only going to prepare me uh, so much for my future. Uh, so much of it is just experience, getting out there knowing the world. Valparaiso University is also a very culture-oriented school. You learn a lot about places around the world while staying put. I have a very strong desire to serve. Um, I've almost viewed comedy as a form of public service for years. If I felt very strongly that I was needed someplace, unentertainment related, without a moment's hesitation, I would go there. Well, I'd love to have uh, Mayor Rudolph Giuliani on my show. I'd love to meet, introduce him to the uh, new most famous mayor in America, David Butterfield, Valparaiso's mayor. I'd love to have uh, Will Smith and Conan O'Brien and a lot of the big boys in late night. Have them come out and show them how we do late night Hoosier style. I don't think there could ever be a concept of what late night should be because it's always changing. The audience is always changing. I think the real key to success in late night is spontaneity. I'm hoping to uh, work the bugs out of my own game here and learn as much as I can about late night and the history of late night so that I can restore some elements I feel are sadly missing right now. Basically, your life is a classroom, and you should always have your eyes and ears open because the world around you is changing at every single moment. To help him prepare for his future as the king of late night, we asked Michael to take Across Indiana's version of the famed actor studio quiz. What is your favorite thing about Indiana? The people. The people and the morality. And what is your least favorite thing about Indiana? That the state of Indiana is a flyover state. That it's not acknowledged for being uh, the quality state that it is. What is your favorite sound? Laughter. And what is your least favorite sound? I don't know how to necessarily categorize this, but there's a sound that people make when they're unhappy. It's sort of in their sigh. What's your favorite curse word? Buttafuoco. <laughs> Joey Butta... It seems like Buttafuoco is probably just a great cuss word that should be a cuss word but isn't. Buttafuoco. Yeah.